what's up guys so I decided to do a part two this video is kind of interesting um, because I've downloaded a lot of flak files from the internet and people don't seem to get the concept of taking a mp3 or a really low quality mp3 and upscaling it to flak they think that if they take their low quality file or their mp3 or their apple itunes library whatever and they convert it to flak because flak is lossless that they're gonna uh, wind up with a phenomenal sounding uh, mp3 or flak or lossless file when the reality is it's actually gonna make the file sound worse so i know what you're thinking like well my dvd player has upscale and i could pop a dvd in it and it looks like blu-ray well Unfortunately, it doesn't work the same for music, and I'm going to both let you hear it, depending on your your uh, system. You may be able to hear the difference, um, even on the worst speakers. I mean, I did one really bad MP3, to, so you guys can uh, hear the example. But I also uh, threw up a few visual aids. So before I go ahead and play the three different sounds that these graphs were created from, I want to first off by, uh, start off by saying this top one here is flax. So this is a full, genuine, um, direct from CD flak. All three the same songs, so there wouldn't be any variations in our graph. And if you look at this, you can kind of see how this is nice and full. Now if you take an MP3 and slightly scale that at about 320 or somewhere around there, um, you can start to see where it's full, but then it starts to lose its peak up here in the higher end of the spectrum. And then if you look at our lowest quality MP3, you can see where it starts off full at the bottom and then just kind of loses its... Uh... <laughs> so this is really what's happening to the music when you make an MP3. Uh, a low quality MP3, a lot of the higher frequencies get cut off. Um, and even on your, your, your better MP3, a lot of the frequencies that you can't hear are cut off. I mentioned this in another video I did, but I kind of wanted to go over it and, and not only let you hear the difference... But I want to go ahead and show you a visual difference and also show you what happens with the graph. When you take a, a, a regular, we'll say a medium, quality, we'll, we'll say good and bad MP3. So even a good MP3 that sounds good and you upscale it, you're still not going to get this end result. And a lot of people I've seen uh, on the torrent sites, there's a lot of flax that are, you know, uploaded. They're the same size. You would, If you looked at it or listened to it, you probably wouldn't notice but it's not genuinely the whole point of flak is to be no um, stripping of the quality. So if you take a CD and make a flak, you're going to end up with this. If you take an MP3 at this quality or this quality and, and run it through a converter and say, oh, well, it's got flak as an option. Let me make it flak. It'll upscale. It's going to upscale, but you're not going to get this. You're going to get this or worse. But let's go ahead and uh, give it a try. So first I'm going to play the 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 flak file alright now we're gonna go ahead and play the good version and then we're gonna play the bad one and this is just mostly to give you guys an example of um, the difference between bit rates and sounds and stuff like that. Best, better, and worse. So let's go ahead and take this. This bottom one here is indeed the flak. Let's go ahead and throw. Our converter up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that the good mp3 and we're gonna upscale it to flak so we just converted that it should have made a new flak called the same thing good okay so this one as you can see is flak and it doesn't sound bad. It's showing a bit rate of 900. I don't know if you guys can see that. I got my mind. So these are both showing up as high bit rates. And we'll do this. We'll, we'll, we'll actually see what Windows says. So it's saying that this one here is 963 per second, which is 
lossless. Now let's look at our MP3 we just upscaled. It's going to show the same thing, but this is where there's a big, big difference. So remember, this top one is our true, genuine, lossless file. Now we got to make sure we get the right one, because I got an MP3 and I got the FLAC. Well, we want to make sure we got the FLAC. So that's MP3. We want to get the one we just converted. Good MP3 dot FLAC. So there's the dot FLAC. And if you set these side by side, now you can see these two look nothing alike. See how it falls off? doesn't go all the way to the top, but if you put this next to the MP3, aha, a direct match. So even though this looks like a FLAC, it's uh, the FLAC container, Windows is showing it as a 900 uh, and some odd kilobyte, uh, kilobytes per second file. Nice high bit rate. If I seen this, I would, I would, I would assume that this is a lossless file, but in reality, it's an MP3 that was... <laughs> a poor attempt to upscale so this is not only a visual representation what your ears can't hear but you cannot upscale a low bit rate so let's let's actually see what the bit rate was on the mp3 just so i'm giving you guys the right information here one ninety one okay so it wasn't three twenty but still, 191 is most standard uh, music streaming services like Spotify. Well, Spotify thinks now 256, but like uh, Slacker and uh, Pandora and iHeartRadio, a lot of them are 64 to 128, some 192. Um, we'll just speak in numbers there, um, so I'm not confusing the uh, beginners here. Those numbers represent the 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 basic the rate of the song. So well, 191 is still fairly decent as far as uh, an MP3 goes. But again, taking that MP3 and trying to upscale it to FLAC, it looks, and that's the problem. A lot of people don't know this, and they have a library of MP3s, and they're like, oh, well, uh, I want to make my music lossless, and then they upscale it, and they share it. People waste the time to download the FLAC thinking it is, you know, a uh, lossless uh album rip and it's actually an mp3 that was uh poorly uh converted to try to make it so to those of you who are watching this video this is what not to do don't upscale your mp3s i don't care if it's 320 128 64 it doesn't matter if it's an mp3 or an itunes um file unless it's a true lossless one of the many lossless uh formats out there that would be the only exception if you take a lossless file like an ape uh, um, the Monkey's Audio or uh, Apple Lossless or FLAC, those can all be interchanged and converted um, and there's no loss in audio quality there. Um, so those are fine to convert between the different uh, formats. But to take an MP3, uh, 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 what they call a lousy uh, format and convert that to be lossless, it's just not doable. And this, this video demonstrates why it's not it's not only a waste of time, it's a waste of space because you're not gaining anything in quality. And at the end of the day, you're going to wind up with a much lower quality file than you started with in the first place. So, uh, thing to learn here is if you're going to convert, uh, make sure you stick within the formats. If it's, you know, if you want to go from, you know, three to, if you're going to rip MP3s, go the highest you can. You can always downscale it later. You know, like in my case, I use FLAC. FLAC's not supported on everything, but I can always downscale it later to put it on an iP you know, iPod or my, my cell phone or whatever. I can always convert the higher quality file to a lower quality medium. But in this demonstration, you can see it does not, there's just no way to physically grab more quality out of an MP3. Once an MP3 is created, that quality has gone for good. So, hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment description below. And uh, if you haven't done so already, I do from time to time make cool technical videos like this. And uh, check back from time to time.